In this tutorial, we'll look how to include X-ray data in our model fitting. We start off with the model we built in the first tutorial, and now we want to add our additionally measured X-ray profile to the model. So we add another data set. This we want to load from a standard ASCII file, so we select the data loader default and can use settings import to define which columns to use for x, y and y arrow. So in this case we have 0, 1 and 2 and then we import the x-ray data. Changing the colors again so we don't mix it up with the neutron data sets. And now we want to define the X-ray instrument just for this last data set. We go to simulations again. First, we set up a constant resolution for each point. And select X-ray as an instrument set probe. So X-ray. And to be sure that this is reset during fitting, we need to put another instrument set probe before the first data set and set this back to neutron poll. Now I can simulate this and you see this is already an X-ray profile, but it doesn't include the footprint correction we need because the beam is bigger than the sample and it has the wrong scaling. So. For the scaling, we use instrument set I0. And in this case, we'll try 1 to the power, 10 to the power of 3. And also this we need to reset at the beginning with instrument set I0 1.0 for neutron. And then to add the footprint correction, use instrument set foot type so here square beam and this we want to reset also at the beginning instrument set foot type no correction and the other parameters as it is not used for neutrons we can set in the sample added instrument parameters so we have beam width in this case 0.2 millimeters and a sample length of 10 millimeters. So if we simulate now, you see the total reflection already fits, the footprint correction works correctly, but we see our model has a far too thick layer and the intensity drops too fast for higher Q, which means that our surface roughness is too large and um, the layer thickness can be explained when we look into the scattering length density profile for the neutron data where the nuclear uh, scattering length density has pretty much no contrast between substrate and film. So it can be that a part of the substrate that becomes magnetic um, is not visible in neutrons but x-rays see a strong contrast between substrate and film. So to be able to fit all the data sets together we want to add a new layer below the LMO that it has the same nuclear scattering length density as STO but is magnetic. So we go again to materials, add an STO layer, we move that to the bottom, we'll try with let's say 60 angstroms of STO with 5 angstroms roughness and for bow magneton and to compensate for this additional magnetic thickness we reduce the LMO layer thickness by the same 60 angstrom so this is 134 then and now we can simulate again and as you can see the thickness of the x-ray data now looks much better the green data set looks strange because we forgot to set the magnetization of that layer to zero for the third 
data set again. So we add this again to the sit simulations parameter, magnetization of zero. And now X-ray and neutron data already look quite okay. We add the new layer parameters to our grid. Select them for fitting. And define parameter ranges for this again. And now we can fit both X-ray and neutron data together. And as you can see, the X-ray fit quickly approaches the measurement, while the neutron data doesn't fit less than it did before. Now we see here the top layer of LMO is clearly defined by the X-base and the magnetic layer thickness is clearly defined by the neutrons.